Hey guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Kirby Tries. Today I'm trying professional earwax removal. I am personally one that loves cotton swabs. I love the feeling I have after I take a shower and I get that swab and I just clean that water out of my ear and that earwax, just get it out. I'm very much into the cleanliness of my ears, but apparently, that is not good for you. Using a cotton swab and jamming it in your ear can actually be detrimental to your ear. It can just shove wax farther and farther and farther. You can also get it professionally removed, so that's what I'm doing today. If the thought of a camera going in my ear is freaking you out at the just this moment, do not watch any further. That is your fair warning, because we're about to get a little waxy in here, okay? Okay, Jacqueline, I'm a little nervous. I really do like using my cotton swabs, but should I not be using cotton swabs in my ear? It's always recommended not to put cotton swabs in your ears because uh, it could be dangerous. You can perforate your eardrum by accident. That's why they say don't put anything smaller than your arms in your <laughs> ears. Okay, and before you actually got here, I was saying that I actually feel dirty when I don't clean out my ears after a shower, but earwax is in no way indicative of how hygienic you are, right? Like Correct. you're clean even if you have earwax because it's Correct. like a self-defense mechanism. Correct. Okay. This is the way that the ear reacts. Uh, there are hair, hairs sitting in the ears. So one person to another, it dif it's different, but that's the way it traps bacteria. And as long as it doesn't impact in front of the eardrum, uh, it's fine. And if it does, that's where we come in and we take out the earwax. Okay, cool. So I'm ready to do this. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, I really hope that there is a ton of earwax in this ear because my boyfriend is always saying that my ears must be clogged because I never hear anything he <laughs> says. Selective <laughs> hearing. Yeah. <laughs> Jacqueline knows what's up. All right, so we're going to do this ear first, right, Jacqueline? Correct. The okay. left ear, we're going to go first. Okay. So <gasps> what I'm doing, I'm doing an otoscopy. Okay. I'm taking an otoscope. Of course, this one is a camera otoscope, so we can see it on the screen. <gasps> I'm trying to look at the ear. Look at all that so hair. Oh my God, is that a bone? That's yeah. my bone. So we see the cone of light. I don't really have a lot of earwax, it looks like. No, at least in this it's ear. nice and clean. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. So, <laughs> some people does a better job than other people. So, that's just My the anatomy. My on top of it. <laughs> now we're gonna do the right side. So here we go. We pass through the hair. Oh my gosh! Look at all that hair. Yeah. Okay, uh, and now there's that wow. clear sheet, the yeah. eardrum. This is so crazy. That sheet, I like never even realized that yeah. was in there. That's so that's, bizarre. <laughs> yes. Wait, so I don't have any earwax to clean out. No, you don't. Okay, we got to bring in some extra forces for this then because I feel like you guys definitely, if you've stayed tuned, if you actually started watching this video and you're here now, you probably want to see some ear wax removal. Uh-huh, just like that. Okay, again, I'm going in. So, Sarah has some <gasps> hair. And then we see a little bit of oh, wax my on the side. Of course, it's not... It's not impacted yeah, because yeah. I still can see the eardrum. Uh huh. So she might not complain about any kind of, you know, muffled sound. Wow. Okay, so you're gonna remove that. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Otoscopy of the right side. Uh, we can see to the edge of the canal a mm. little bit of wax. Not as much. Not as, as the much other one. as the other one. I'm putting the otoscope back in and I'm using a curette so the wax is a little bit sticky. It's gonna come out little by little. So I just got some out. Whoa! Then I go in again. It feels really bizarre. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. That feels good. Oh, here we go. So good. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> It felt so good, you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry if it... No, it felt great. Now that I took some of the wax out, let's... I go back in again to check. Wow, I took a lot of it out. Yeah. It looks good. Okay, here's the goodie bag you take home, Sarah, with you. <laughs> so exciting. Because <laughs> there wasn't as much over here. Yeah, it wasn't as much. It's just to the walls, on the walls. Still felt good. I got it out. It's in the 
to the little guy? Little hole. Okay, so Sarah, how do you feel now? As soon as she pulled out the one from my left ear, it was just like, oh. So Sarah, I'm gonna take a look back in. Okay. Just to show you in the video how much we took oh, out. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we took out some. It got red a little bit there. Still a little bit on this side here. But it's pretty, you know, that big chunk is gone. This is what cotton swab does to the ear. That's another reason you don't want to use them. All right, guys, so that was professional earwax removal. First of all, I learned a lot. I want to give this five out of five. This was not only fascinating, but it, when she removed yes. that piece, roll the tape, that piece of earwax, you can hear me yelling in the background, being like, oh, <laughs> like. So it, satisfying. So satisfying. Yeah. All right, guys, so let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. Also, let me know what you want me to try moving forward. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to try this because there was nothing to remove, but we still got to look inside my ear, which I thought was kind of cool. So let me know in the comment section below any treatments you want me to try, any products that you want me to try out. Let me know because we always try to listen to your suggestions and make those a reality. As always, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Kirby Johnson, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.